फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास रूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑन क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वी विल वंस अगेन सी द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स फॉर सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ऑन परसेंटेज वेलकम टू एक्सेल इन पी ओ एग्जाम हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट इन अ स्कूल ऑफ एटीन हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स फोर्टी परसेंट आर बॉयज इट मीन्स सिक्सटी परसेंट आर गर्ल्स आउट ऑफ दैट थर्टी परसेंट गर्ल्स फेल्ड इन द एग्जाम एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द बॉयज फेल्ड इन द एग्जाम what percent of the students passed in the exam that we have to find so first as usual assume that there are 100 students in a school 40% are boys so 40 are the boys out of 100 it means 60 will be the girls out of 100 Thirty percent of the girls are failed in the exam. So thirty percent are failed in the exam. That is, ten percent is six, another ten percent is six, and another ten percent is six, and so eighteen girls failed in the exam. Of course, it is out of hundred. And as far as boys are concerned. 30% girls are failed and 50% boys are failed so 50% of 40 will be of course it is 20 so 20 boys are failed out of 100 18 girls are failed out of 100 so together 20 plus 18 that is 38 students are failed that are out of 100 so out of 100 38 students are failed so how many students are there 1800 students are there so for 1800 students how many are failing so we cross multiply and divide by first one so 1800 multiplied by 38 divided by 100 that is equal to 2 if you solve this this two zeros will get cancelled and that is equal to 684 so 684 students failed in the exam so how many are passing 1800 minus 684 so it will be 1000 160 so the number of students passing in the exam in that particular school are 1160 this can be done in other way also so the total number of students failing are 38 correct so out of 100 38 are failing so total passing will be 62 students are passing so same way you can write this that for 100 students 62 students are passing then for 1800 students how many are passing so cross multiply this and divide by 100 you will get same 1160 friends go for the another question in an organization the number of male employees is less than that of the female employees by 30 by what percent the number of female employees is more than that of the male employees 
so the number of male employees is less than that of the female employees by 30 percent so first we will assume that let the female employees be 100 so the male employees will be 30 percent less that is minus 30 because 30 percent of 100 is 30 and so it is 70 so male employees are 70 now it is asked that by what percent the number of female employees is more than that of the male employees so if there are 70 males there will be 100 females so for 100 males how many females will be there so first we cross multiply this and divide by the first one so 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 70 and that comes to 142.2 so friends, it's very simple. You can solve these questions in just a one line. For explanation, it takes more time. If you practice more, you will find that it is too easier. Now here is the another question on the screen that a man gives 20% of his property to his younger son and 25%, it should be 25% of the remainder to elder son he donated rest of the property to a trust if he gives 1000 to a younger son find the amount donated to the trust he gives 20 percent of his property to the younger son and that is equal to what rupees 1000 so 20 percent is how much it is 1000 so 20 percent means for 20 there is 100 means for every 100 it is 20 so if the property is 100 rupees the share of the younger son will be 20,000 rupees so here the share of the younger son is 1000 so what should be the property means for the share of 20 rupees there is a property of 100 rupees so for the share of 1000 rupees how much will be the property so cross multiply this and divide by the first one so you will get 1000 into 100 divided by 20 and if you solve this you get it 5000 rupees so what is there there is a property of 5000 rupees so property is 5000 rupees now out of this 20 percent goes to the younger son that is 20 percent means 10 percent will be 500 another 10 percent will be 500 so the 1000 there is no need to calculate because it is already given so 1000 goes to the younger son so what will be left 5000 minus 4000 will be the remaining amount out of this remaining 4000 25 percent goes to the elder son so what is 25 percent 10 percent will be 400 another 10 percent will be 400 and 5 percent will be 200 so it is again 1000 so 4000 out of that 1000 goes to the elder son so what is left 3000 the property of rupees 3000 is left and he donates 3000 rupees to the trust so the amount donated to the trust is rupees 3000 friends here is the another question on the screen that out of 600 pupils in a school 40 percent are boys and the rest are the girls 
if 20% of the boys and 30% of the girls wear spectacles then the percentage of the total number of pupils wear spectacles is friends here i am not solving this question it is for you just try for yourself and give the method or the way you will solve it through comments thank you very much for watching this video friends we are suggesting you few more videos click on the links percentage tips and tricks part 1 percentage tips and tricks part 2 percentage tips and tricks part 3 profit and loss shortcuts part 1 sitting arrangement from reasoning topic and visit us at www.excelinpoexams.in thank you very much if you have liked this click thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much